Hi, this is Maggie at Full Metal Rock. Embrace yourselves because today we're talking with Orlando rock band Alter Bridges frontman, guitar virtuoso, and vocal acrobat Miles Motherfucking Kennedy. <laughs> Hello, Miles. Wow. <laughs> Hi, that's pretty. I can't live up to any of that. <laughs> Uh, I'm physically bowing, by the way. I know you can't see it, but I've got my arms out, and I'm I'm like bowing to you. So. Um, oh, you're you are too kind. I'm blushing. Oh. <laughs> um, Miles, I'm so excited to talk to you because so much has been going on with Alderbridge. Um, uh, firstly, I want to just mention the recent very successful UK and European tour that you had. There was obviously a hell of a lot of work that went into that. Um, and I wanted your your reaction to how that tour went. Uh, we were really blown away with, with the response, you know. Uh, it was our... It, we were stepping into some some bigger venues, you know, one of which was the, the O2 in, in London, which was... You know, it's basically the equivalent of their Madison Square Garden. And so, though we were very excited that, of the prospect of getting to play uh, such a prestigious venue, um, when the reality sets in that you actually have to <laughs> deliver, uh, not just musically, but from a production standpoint, you know, just to make sure that you can keep all of those people uh, entertained uh, sonically and visually. Uh, so it was, it was definitely, definitely a different uh, element for us. And... Um, so we spent quite a bit of time planning and trying to prepare for all of that. But uh, it was overall, everything was really wonderful. I mean, it was really, I think for Alter Bridge, probably my favorite, my favorite tour thus far. And uh, look, look back with a lot of very fond memories. Well, I, I know the fan reaction was, uh, you know, they were blown away themselves. The, you know, the difference between the Fortress tour, which they obviously loved, but it's like you ramped everything up you know, to huge levels yeah. to, to deliver this. Yeah, we try, you know, we, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. We certainly were, we were, it was something we were very aware of and, and wanted people to feel that way. So that's, that's great. That's wonderful. Are there any particular moments that stand out to you from the tour? I mean, I can think of a couple, but I just wanted to know if there was anything that stuck in your mind as far as memorable um, moments. You know, I think, yeah, as far as memorable moments goes, um, there there's there so many, but I, I would I would definitely say that that O2 experience because of the because of the the weight of it, and I think that there was a lot of um, uh, you know we, there was a lot of maybe in, internally imposed pressure, but uh, I mean there's one moment where right before we took the stage, I remember just deciding, you know what, I'm just going to have fun with this, and I looked at Flip, our drummer, and and he. He said, just have a good time, man. It was just one of those those moments that just kind of set the tone for the rest of the evening. And I, then I just started goofing off and doing karate. <laughs> and off, goofball that I am. Um, <laughs> so I think that I think that was that, that was that was a, that was a special moment in realizing that you know we're here, we're going to do this. Let's just enjoy it and not to, um, you know not let the nerves get in the way of a, of, a, of a good time for everybody. So that was that was great. Yeah, there, I mean, from uh, the the fans that I spoke to, you know, their reactions were so diverse in in how much they appreciated what you guys do for them. Um, anything from you know hearing that uh, a fan has lost a loved one, and you know taking the time to dedicate a song to them to. Um, your reaction to the the pug birthday display in LED lights and and be right. and being sung to by you know a bunch of fans in happy birthday Miles t shirts and uh, the rubber duck incident has to be mentioned because that was just right. that was hilarious <laughs> and and you know some someone catching a pick in their beer just all, all these little moments that. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, to those people individually, yeah. there's nothing that can compare to to how they feel. So, the fans really appreciate that you do uh, all the things you do for them, and you had a dream lineup. I mean, uh, like a storm, yeah. uh, Volbeat, Gojira. It it was incredible, and there were so many people that came 
for example, for Volbeat, who had never seen Alter Bridge, and uh, Alter Bridge fans who'd never seen Volbeat, and same with Kajira and Like a Storm, and it was just a, a real um, exciting tour lineup. Yeah, we were really happy to have the opportunity to play with those guys, you know, and I think for me, I kind of had to change my warm-up routine, because normally I, I'm warming up on guitar and vocals, you know, read the performance for like, you know, at least an hour, an hour and a half. And knowing that these bands were playing before us, I really wanted, just as a fan, I wanted to, you know, I definitely wanted to go out and see as many of the shows as I could. Because they're so inspiring to me, you know, standing there side stage and watching Mario, you know, bash on the drum. Oh my gosh. And, uh, you know, from, 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 from Gojira. And, and uh, you know, actually one moment that really stuck with me speaking, speaking of Gojira, which was really it just it shows this is why I love that band so much because not only do they make the most ferocious music on the planet but they seriously are the, the, the nicest people and I remember standing side stage with my wife and, and I forget where we were and they're in the middle of a song and Joe runs over runs over to me jumps off the, the stage and or not off the stage but goes over to, to kind of the guitar tech area and gives me this big hug and just says, you know, thank you for having us out. We were having such a great time. And I'm like, Aww. who does that? Who does that? You know, he's such a, he's such a sweetheart, you know? I just, I, and I'm so, I'm so happy to see all of the incredible accolades they, they've gotten off of Magma. And they deserve every bit of it. I hope they, you know, they just kill it in the, at the Grammys. I'm, those, those guys deserve it all because they've, well, they've been plugging it up for 20 years. I personally had so never seen them live horrible. before this tour. And after the first gig, I went straight out and, and bought Magma. So, yeah, they had a, a huge impact on me. I know you're saying they're the nicest guys, but uh-huh. e- evil, evil Mario is not the nicest guy. That, that was the most hilarious, that was the most hilarious set of videos I think I've ever seen in my life. I was at just, I agree. I, they're brilliant. They're I, genius. And I was so happy when, when when he said that he was gonna he he offered to kill me in Los Angeles, I was like, absolutely, I would be honored to be killed by you, Mary. So. I mean, I can't imagine what it was like to watch them being made. I mean, that must have been even more hilarious than you well, know the it, actual end it's product. Hilarious, but it also it, it kind of highlights the, the, the way they work. I was it was really fun watching them put it together because it's very fast and 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 Joe was also I was also involved and like it, it, the way they were both kind of directing it and 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 had, would have all these ideas and just would move very quickly and, and, and keep it very fun and spontaneous. It, I think that was a glimpse into how they make their music as well, if I'm not mistaken. And they're, they're, those two are very 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 creative and very special people. And not just with that, I mean, they do their own all this artwork and all the. You know, Mario does these drum heads where he paints on and then, and then sells. I mean, he's just, they're just, inc- they're like Renaissance men. They're incredible. Yeah, they are. They are incredible. I understand that some of the UK gigs were recorded. The audio was recorded. Are there any plans for what's going to be done with that? Do you know? Yeah, we're, we're hoping to put out a, a, a live record. Uh, I'm not sure when, but we just wanted to make sure we... We captured some of those uh, some of those shows because uh, we thought that would be a, a, a good thing for for something like, something like that in the future. Yeah, that sounds really exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, now, as amazing as the tour was, you've got something quite extraordinary coming up in just a few days. Alter Bridge's first time on Shiprocked, and that's that's got to be correct. <laughs> that's got to, I hope you have your boat shoes. And your suntan lotion. <laughs> suntan lotion. I, I'm gonna need like SPF 100 because I just burn. I'm a, I'm a pale man. So so yeah, it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. You know, I've never done anything like that before. So it's, it's definitely my my maiden voyage. Uh, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I've heard it's just a, it's a rock and roll party and we've got some bands on there who are friends and, it and, is. and so that should be good to get to hang out with them as well. It's basically like a weekend cool. rock festival on a ship and, you know, right. you, you've got fans flying in from all over the world. I believe that it's sold out in record time and I'm sure Alter Bridge had something to do with that. 
and you're you're playing twice on yeah. board. <laughs> you're you're playing twice on board. And you've got, like you said, you've got your friends, you've got your seven dust friends, your Wilson friends, uh, you've got, uh, Man the Mighty playing, just a phenomenal lineup, um, and it's no wonder it, it sold out so quickly. Have you been given any kind of heads up on really what to expect on board? Like really what to expect? Not really. <laughs> I, I don't have any clue. You know, it's like I'm trying to like paint a picture in my head of what it could be like, uh, but I just I've never done anything like this. So I, I think I'm just uh, planning to be surprised at every turn. Just picture uh, Download Festival or Rock on the Range uh, on a boat, and add some uh, some Swedish fans called known as the Swedes. Uh, who are infamous on board, um, and just oh, yeah. a whole lot of shenanigans and fun, and just it's one of the most crazy yet amazing experiences I've ever done in my life. So I'm I'm looking forward to to seeing you guys on board. I know that um, awesome. I know Very that cool. yeah I know that you. Um, you played some acoustic uh, stuff in the run-up to the start of the Last Hero Tour, and I was fortunate enough to get to see Show Me a Leader played acoustically. Do you think that that might be introduced into a set somewhere at some point, or was it just saved for those um, special... Yeah, I, you know, I don't, probably not, not anytime soon. I think just because, um, we, we're still leaning on the, the electric arrangement for the time being. People are familiar with it. But, but, you know, the fun thing about, um, taking songs and rearranging them on, on, in an acoustic environment is it really, uh, I think just brings out a different, just a completely different side to the song. And, uh, I think it highlights the melodies a little more. And, and, uh, so I enjoy it as a singer. Singers generally enjoy the, the acoustic side of things. It helps, uh, it helps but, you uh, look. I think for the time being, we'll pull. Sorry? No, go on, sorry. But uh, yeah, I think for the time being, we'll probably just stick to the, to the, uh, you know, close to the, the record arrangement. Yeah, I think for, from a fan perspective, it, 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 you look at a song in a different way when you hear it acoustically. It changes the whole yeah. um, tone, no pun intended, but it, you know, it changes the whole right, feel, right. the feel of the song. Now, you aren't wasting any time because as soon as you disembark off Shiprocked, you're heading to Alabama to kick off the North American tour. And then right. you, I think you've got a, a total of, a to- total of, uh, 20 dates. The, your fans have been chomping at the bit for this since the listening party. So what can they expect from this tour? Well, I think the, um, you know, one of the things that we started to incorporate more um, on since we started this album cycle was to be aware of what, how many songs we're playing from each record. That of our, of our, you know, we've been at this for 14 years now. Um, 14, 12, 14, I don't know. I can't yeah. a long time. <laughs> I think, um, and, uh, and. I think it's 13, but we're not counting, are we? Yeah, 13. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think it is 13, actually. So I did an interview earlier today and they, they brought up 14, and that's why so I've been saying 14 for the entire day, but I've been wrong. Um, <laughs> kind of like I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing about my, my age soon, I'll just subtract the years. Oh, honey, um, you don't have but, to tell uh, me about that, cause it, I'm, it, I'm right there with you. <laughs> It's funny. It's just you know, it's life. What do you do? But, but the, um, uh, but yeah, I think we have an, enough material, enough of a catalog to where, um, in the past, we, we would tend to be very Blackbird heavy. There'd be a lot of songs off of Blackbird, and so we're trying to be more aware of, of mixing it up more and having a little more balance uh, from each, from each record, and while doing a fair amount off the new album. I mean, I think on the European tour we were. Doing between five to seven a night off of uh, the, the the last hero, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll continue on with that. Well, the last hero, which is is your fifth studio album, has received such a tremendous response from both the critics 
and the fans, your growth from album to album has always been impressive. But the leap from Fortress to The Last Hero, the technicality, the, the change in, in tunings, the, the rhythms, everything, um, it's just been like an exponential jump. Um, and I want to congratulate you for that because it, you really have a lot to be proud of. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Uh, in the, after the North American tour, I have to mention you're going to Australia for five dates, which the Australian fans are over, over the moon about, um, before you start hitting festivals, both in the U.S. and Europe. Do you have any plans for further touring after the festivals? Yeah, there, I'm, uh, we're trying to put that together right now and figure out what, uh, which parts of the world that will entail. But yeah, we're definitely going to utilize as much of 2017 as we can and just uh, hit, it, hit it hard. Well, yeah, you've, you've been doing that already, and, and you've got a lot more to come, and I know the fans appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate your time today, Miles. Uh, I have to say that um, tickets for your the last year on North American dates and uh, elsewhere are on sale now, including meet and greet packages, and that's available at alterbridge.com, and we will list all the, the dates and the links um, for that. And there's the artist sessions with Mark that uh, are on sale on Fret 12. And, of course, Last Hero is available to buy both physically and digitally um, everywhere. Um, on a side note, if I may, your solo album, I understand that it's recorded. Is is that true? Is it finished is there plans to... It is. It, it is done. Uh, but the funny... Uh, funny this, this just highlights my um, restlessness, I guess. But uh, but I, I, I since I've been home for the holidays, I started a, a second or so record. Um, no, so, you haven't. Yeah, I, Have you I, really? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, what else is there to do? I'm not it's sure not a Christmas do. album, you know, though, is it? Watch TV. No, it's not. No, it's, not. But it's, uh, it's been. Fun. Although I would, I've just been sitting here. Lighting, that wouldn't. Lighting. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Miles Kennedy sings the Christmas classics. 